Hey guys, welcome to Wonderland. I'm sitting here with my Fritz repeaters and I recently bought the Fritz repeater 3000 AX, which was just available for 130 euros on Black Friday. Normally the 6000er, which I have here, costs around 210 euros and the 3000 AX costs 160 euros. So let's say there's a difference of about 50, 60 euros. And I was a little surprised because I had already tested the Repeater 3000 and the 2400X, but I hadn't tested the 3000X yet. And I had read in different online forums and mail leads that in some way the 3000X model should be superior to the 6000 model. But I somehow couldn't believe it, so I bought it now and tested it. Perhaps for the sake of completeness, you see they look slightly different in terms of appearance. The X3000X features a bit of the angular shape that you are familiar with from the AVM cable modems in terms of its design. And the X6000 has this slightly rounder shape. And interestingly, the X3000X is also a little bigger than the X6000. 6000 -er. However, based on the information provided on the AVM product page, if one can place trust in it, then the 6000 -er has undeniably been sold and highly praised as the flagship product in the AVM product portfolio ever since its initial release. Uh, but as I mentioned, I have now conducted the test. I performed the test using an iPad Pro and a Pixel 8 Pro device. I have the standard position at the top, which is typically the location I use for conducting my Wi-Fi tests. And I had four different measuring points again. One measurement point was near the router, one wall, two walls in the basement. Also from the ideal state to the worst case and also outside. And so. And I have repeated the test several times now because I somehow couldn't believe it. However, at this moment, I will simply demonstrate the test outcomes. Currently, it is not a laboratory examination conducted under ideal circumstances, but the indicator is clearly discernible and can be easily observed. In nearly every test, the 3000X was superior to the 6000X model. Test. One must say the 3000X is equipped with an 18 watt power supply, while the 6000X is equipped with a 24 watt power supply. So this also uses less power. I'm not going into technical details here now. Other YouTubers have definitely covered that. Feel free to check it out again. But it's surprising that the cheaper model using less power is better than the more expensive model using more power. Well, I do not have knowledge of how the product planning is conducted at AVM, but in any case, that is something that should be kept in mind. And in itself, it is the only thing that truly matters, having the power to shape our lives and define our destiny. The difference at first glance, apart from the appearance, is that the 6000 Arabita still possesses a 2.5 gigabit connection, and the 3000AX only has one gigabit connection. If you have a standard one gigabit network anyway, it doesn't matter at all. I still have an extra switch at the back where I can use 2.5 gigabits. And yes, I, I actually tested it in the house, not using any speed tests outside. I currently have my iPerf server running on my computer next door and then tested it accordingly. The numbers were extremely surprising and in truly almost all situations, the 3000X was superior. The only situation where he was worse was down here in the basement, basically through three concrete walls and the distinction was also easily controllable. So not substantial that it will render itself perceptible. Whether this will truly make a significant difference for the majority of you in relation to multiple devices and multiple data usage is likely to be relatively uninteresting. I transfer quite large data after all. And already today I can simply say, save yourself the money, buy a 3000 AX instead of a 6000 repeater. Perhaps someday the 6000 AX will also arrive, but it has Wi-Fi, even without AX on the 6000, so you won't notice a significant difference, except that the 3000 AX is faster, more stable, and consumes less power. Yes, that was my brief feedback on the subject of FETS repeater, give it a try. Tell me if you've had the same experience with the 3006 and the 6000, or if something was wrong with my test. Then I'm done. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.